get to it. Ah, my favorite part, my favorite part of the show. First of all, hey, everybody, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I always like to see the usual suspects. It's always, you, know, you got Vicky and I, and uh, Norman, Daniel. Meme's always here, always here. CPR, Brian Mack, Wilkes, Reaper Man. Reaper Man hasn't been around too much, but I appreciate when he does come in. Let's see. Jeff, you. Where's Beardy? Ben Amotasia. Ben Amotasia is always doing great things. Uh, helping me out, getting rid of the scammers on Twitter. Ah, ben Amotasia, every X amount of blocks suggests, and with block time, it's probably now it's every two weeks. Yes, exactly. For the difficulty ratio. Joy says you're out of focus. No, this is just where I want to be. You don't want to focus on this face. You want to focus on this beautiful backdrop. Beautiful. So for everybody who's in a cold climate, you can feel the warmth. Beautiful, balmy, 86-degree day here in Puerto Rico. Can't beat that. And another thing, it's hard to move here when you're diamond handsing. Diamond, I don't know if that's even a term, diamond hands. Don't diamond hands. Don't diamond hands forever. I believe the Satoshi Nakamoto white paper, which we've taken a look at a couple of times now, Nine pages says very specifically, use it for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. If you want to buy a house or you want to buy some property and it's going to make you feel good, do it. That's what Bitcoin was made for. You can say it's a store of value. That white paper didn't say anything about that. I understand people want to make it into what it is, but peer-to-peer -peer transactions, exactly what it says. Ah, Bicky, you're the best. <laughs> Logan says... You just explain why my charts are so accurate. Weird. Hashtag ribbons. Yes. If you, I never look at these things, honestly. But thankfully, with you know, uh, looking at Bitcoin, they give you alerts. So I mean, they're free, but you, you can sign up for the alerts. Like it's like twenty bucks a month. I love maths. What percent of Bitcoin out of all my crypto? It's the vast majority. I want to say now it's like, it's over seventy percent. I'll tell you that. Brian, looking at back. Here's the thing. Don't get into Masterworks before you talk to the people. Like, I didn't, to me, it didn't make any sense. I'm like, I don't know anything about art. I don't understand what you guys do. I just don't get it. And they're like, it's going to be big. I'm like, sure, pal, it's all going to be big. So I set up a meeting with those, with those guys, and, I, and I, I sat down with a gentleman, I mean, on, the, on a call, and it took me 30 minutes. Actually, it took me 40 minutes because I'm pretty dense. And he was trying to explain to me how to have him repeat things. So do that, and if you don't, if you feel like this isn't for me, don't do it. Rob, do you own any physical artwork? <laughs> I do, but it's from <laughs> it's from Amazon, and uh, it's from uh, probably Target. That's about it. Sorry, I meme. I'm not very cultured. Can you? Ah, oh, it's a good question. Can you sell out of your position? As, as far as for crypto, you probably talking about Masterworks. So Masterworks does has, have a secondary market. You can sell your shares in the secondary market. I have personally not done that. However, you have to understand, these are not short-term plays. This is like two, three, five-year type of play. So when you get into it, like I can sell my shares now because I've been in over a year. Again, have them explain that to you. There's some, yes, there are some amazing artists in Puerto Rico. Just on the, uh, just the murals I see. It's beautiful here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Just saying, you don't want to linger on that particular art with the YouTube algorithm. The, alg the algorithm doesn't help me much at all, so I'm okay. I get this. The algorithm doesn't work for me too well. I'm just happy that the, the same people show up and, and we get to talk. Uh, Vicky says it again. Not financial, legal, or tax advice. The channel is for entertainment purposes only. Dan is not an expert. No. Or a financial plan. These are just my opinions. These are just my opinions on what I'm doing. Exactly, Becky. Uh, Bill Bones. That's a great name. Got an Avogadro there. I like that. Rob, do you think ETH would be able to become a security if the SEC so they have to? Absolutely. There's too much money for them not to say it. It's very simple. SEC says... Actually, no, no. SEC doesn't say squat. SEC enforces the rules. The rules are made by Congress. Congress are the lawmakers. They're the ones that have to pass the bills. Okay? So we, we go that route. Lummis and all the, all the 
all the uh, people get together and say, okay, this is what a security is. If it hits this criteria, we're going to call it a security. ETH becomes a security. Okay, Ethereum Foundation. I mean, you already guys already have a, a backdoor into the SEC anyhow. So we want you to pay a fine and uh, say that you were you ran a uh, unregistered ICO and then you're going to register as security and you're going to come in here and you're going to pull the paperwork in. Okay. So what does that look like? Well, it's already happened. And it happened with EOS. So EOS, this was in 2019. EOS sells with SEC over unregistered security sales. They fined them $24 million and EOS raised $4 billion. I will do that all day long too. And off you go. So... Uh, they can do it. It's very simple. And I know Mark Moss had a great video on talking about why he doesn't think it's going to it's going to happen like that. I happen to disagree. I think they can do that. I th I think this 5000 cryptocurrencies will not become a security. They don't have the money or the funds. Look at Orbit and Nardana. They just rug pulled everybody because they don't have any, any money left. What is going to happen is most will collapse. The ones that don't collapse, they will be absorbed in the fold of the bigger cryptocurrency digital asset projects. Those projects then will, will then go to the go to the SEC and say, "Here's your money. Here's what we're going to work for." And guess what? We got a whole boatload of new uh, developers because all the other ones just went bust, and we picked up all these people as far as staff for pennies on the dollar because everybody needs a job. I think that's what's going to happen. It's the same thing that happened with Facebook because they rolled up into everything and said, "You know what? We like this business. Instagram that looks pretty good, and uh, WhatsApp we like that. We'll just buy you away." And it's the same thing. And of course, people will say, what about decentralization? That's not going to happen for a while. The only thing that's truly decentralized is Bitcoin. That's just the truth. That's it. And there's some other good projects. You got a point. There are some other projects that, that have decentralization. But as time goes on, I think we're going to see more centralization moving forward. That's what it is. Ah, thanks, Brian. Smashed it. Woot, woot. ICP. <laughs> Amy's here. Shannon Miller's here. Uh, Tab Nebraska. So I'm, I had a I had a sale going on for Dan Teaches Crypto, the website. I just extended it from yesterday to today. Uh, it's now free. Just kidding. It's always been free. I like yeah. It's all my all the best stuff I can I can put out there. Team Benny. That's right. <laughs> Beardy is crying his EOS bag. I still have EOS, so I make fun of e Beardy because I have EOS too. Beardy is it? Beardy is probably working. You know, he saves lives. That's what he does. I believe he is an RN. Uh, Beardy says, "What do you think about the debate between proof of work versus proof of stake? I favor proof of work because of network stability and decentralization." It is very decentralized. However, I still think that proof of stake, there is decentralization there. However, there are some projects that are proof of stake that are not decentralized. If you can tell all your node operators just to reset it, that's not decentralized. I'm sorry. And I need to get, I'm pulling away from those projects. Um, but, okay, here's an example. So like when Cardano had the upgrade, the Crown Foundation was like, hey, we'd like everybody to upgrade. And me and other pool operators were like, nope, nope. You have to, we're going to test and we're going to wait. And we'll do, we'll do it when we want to do it. And we did that. And it took a lot longer. And Charles Hoskins then had to go on his channel and eat, eat a little humble pie. But he's like, hey, I can't do anything. It's decentralized. You know, they do what they want. And I was like, yeah, it's a, it makes sense. Now, I am not the person that runs the stake pool operation. <laughs> it's for way smarter people than me, and I have a team that does that. Uh, if you want to like to, uh, uh, to stake with uh, D News, the stake pool, links in the description. I show you exactly how to do it. I show you what staking is all about, why it's decentralized, how it all works, how you control your private keys with Cardano, and go from there. So links in the description, and we're doing pretty good. Uptime is almost 100%. Uh, these guys are great. Great, great, great. And another thing, uh, you're not staking it on some... Exchange, like I just got a, I just got an email today to stake my Ethereum, which 
Hold on. I'll show you what exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Photos. Photos. Earn up to 6.85% APY on your ETH. That's from Coinbase. I was like, well, that's pretty good, 7%. I almost smacked myself in the face. So I'm like, if I have Ethereum, it's not on Coinbase. It's in my ledger now. So that's that. And 6.85% APY is great. However, when can I unstake it? That's the big question for Ethereum. As far as the Shanghai uh, upgrade, uh, they, it was supposed to be 6 to 12 months. They put it back, and now it's indefinite. They don't know when we can actually unstake and that's that's a problem, I think. But whatever. Get off my soapbox. Okay, Max says, living on the Philippines for over a decade now. Congratulations. It's a great place. Summer, whole year round. 30 plus Celsius till I forgot what is winter. I know. I had some friends in, in El Paso. In El Paso send me video yesterday of it snowing in El Paso. And they're like, Rob, you're missing out. And I just sent him a, a video of, uh, we were on the beach or like Condado, and I was like, I am not missing squat. Gravity blast is right. They tell you to diamond hands so they can sell on top of your head. Where was it? I was showing this yesterday. I think it was hodl waves. Mm. I'm not going to get into it. If, if you want to look into Bitcoin and take a look at those, those charts, you'll see that no, 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 it wasn't hold waves. It was people who, who had crypto in a specific wallet for, and it, and it broke it down between four to five years, uh, seven to nine years, and 10 plus years. And you could see, it's not hold waves, whale shadows. That's what it's called. Let me show you this chart. So I want everybody to remember this. So when everybody talks about, you got to diamond hands it and that's it. What this is, it shows when Bitcoins that have not been moved for many years finally move again. And I'm not saying that these people, these whales and how much they're moving, I'm not saying they're selling. I'm just saying that they're moving it for whatever reason. If you have something in cold storage, what is another reason to move it besides to sell it? I mean, maybe they're doing loans. I'm not for sure. But you can just see that as the price goes up. See right here, this purple? That's that's uh, hasn't been moved for seven to nine years. See over here? Well, it doesn't work because of the year is genius, Rob. But over here, of course, you can see that, yeah, they're going to, some people will sell. So don't think that everybody's diamond handsing, right? When the price goes up, look at these orange shadows, these orange ones right here. That's for people who haven't moved for 10 years. When the price went up, and you get a big, massive concentration when the price really starts to, starts to spike. 47,000, 49,000. They're looking at the same charts that we're all looking at. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this one we talked about yesterday. This one was... Ten thousand Bitcoin that hasn't moved in seven to nine years, just moved again at sixteen thousand. Could be selling. I'm not for sure, but I'm just saying that. Uh, don't think that everybody diamond hands. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Metal, <laughs> Metal hands. Uh, John Velasquez says, "Do you need to purchase crypto on PR? No, or need to be there 180 days? We're here more than 180 days. Like." for for tax benefits and if you're looking for i did an updated video uh on on puerto rico like would i do it again after living here for a year the answer is yes and there's some there's some slight things that would change so if you're ever going to move here and and come out first of all it's, it's great it's a beautiful place great people food eh. that's just me though and i know memes always going to tell me oh there's, there's better food i'm just missing the right places i guess but regardless it's a great place it's just expensive to live here it's super expensive. Here's an example. We had a guy that uh, had to come out and fix the fridge. He works for God, Sears. He's a Sears rep here, right? He makes 20 bucks, $20 an hour here, which is okay. Okay, good. 20 bucks an hour here. 
but the electricity cost is outrageous. Everything is imported. It's, it, it's, it's pricey for all the food items, uh, vehicles. If you want to purchase a vehicle, you're going to, you know, you're going to pay up everything. You're going to, every kind of product or produce or whatever, you're going to pay more for it. Right. And electricity, like I said, crazy to real estate, also expensive. And we were, and he was talking to my wife and he goes, he goes, he says, where, you know, where are you guys originally from? We're from Texas. Oh, he's like, how's Dallas? And he's like, I guess it's fine. He said, yeah, I got a, an offer to move to Dallas. And he goes, I don't know if I want to, because I think the cost of living is very high. They're going to pay me 28 bucks an hour. And me and my wife looked at each other and we said, take that job right now. That's financial advice. Take that job right now because everything is cheaper in Texas. There's no state tax. There is, uh, the cost of living is low. The real estate is low. And 28 bucks, I was like, get out of here, you know. But it, sorry, I'm, if, if I talk too fast, my, my desk shakes. So, yeah. So that's just a thing to be aware of. Uh, <laughs> Gandalf the Gray says, I feel the heat coming from my money raising my head. Gandalf, so, so, so answer, answer me this. Since you, you're a miner, I'm not a miner. Were those pieces accurate for how much it costs to produce one Bitcoin? Because it seems extremely high, and I could be wrong. So somebody tell me when Gandalf uh, responds to that one. I might miss it. Yeah, I want to set it up. Panda Pie, Rob, I have a question regarding stocks. I don't know how it all works. Is there like an equivalent of a ledger or is it all central? It's all centralized. How do you hold your shares like in a wallet? I mean, I just use, again, these are stocks and equities. They are securities. So they are, they are regulated by the SEC at the very minimum. So on this one, it's all centralized and someone can probably explain it better than I can. But uh, yeah, you don't, you can't self, self custody, that type of thing, because it's all, that's why crypto is decentralized and that's what we do. Uh, Jeff Free says, where is the art they buy? Can you see it? Yes, you can definitely see it, but they take possession of it and they store it. Again, talk to people over at Masterworks and go from there. And that's, see, that's a great question. And you can see everything that they store and everything that they buy, what they bought for, how it moves and everything else because it's registered with the SEC, which means everything has to be public. So every piece of art that you look at, you, you get the data on it underneath. Uh, let's see. Vicky says, if there are less miners, will it be easier for the ones who still mine? Great question, Vicky. And it's something I totally forgot about. And this would go back to ben or Benny's, Benny's comment. So when, again, I'm not a miner, but when the miners shut off their rigs, that means the difficulty to actually mine Bitcoin actually goes down. So it's actually, it's actually beneficial for them because, well, of course, the hash rate will go down, but the difficulty will go down. The more miners that are there, the more the difficulty goes up, the more it makes it more difficult, so on and so forth. So for me, when I take a look at it, again, opportunity, that video that we took a look at, again, of um, uh, Jason, Jason Les, where he talks about, hey, you know, it's, it costs us roughly 8,900 bucks uh, to produce one Bitcoin because we have deals in place with the mining grid operation here in Texas. We're able to sell it back. We have it, you know, blocked out. Uh, those guys are going to massively benefit from all the small Bitcoin mining operations just shutting down. And there's going to be a concentration of power, a concentration of Bitcoin miners. That's just how it is. I could be wrong, but that's, uh, that, that's how I see things. And uh, I think it's the same thing with uh, crypto and digital assets and those projects are starting to collapse. They'll all collapse onto each other. And then only the strong will survive. A Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah. San Diego's 35 cents. Yeah. You should come to Puerto Rico or go to go to Hawaii. 67 cents. Sweet Mary Joseph. Rusty Bots gets a good point. Even in wars, the art is protected by both parties. Yeah. True. Iron Hawk says 15.5 looks like a double bottom. I I think 13K. But uh, some people say 8K. Some people say 3K. Some people also pay zero. I don't think that's for how that works. Neil's got a good question. Rob, your thoughts on Dot that uh, Gavin left the project. So he didn't leave the project. He just stepped down, I believe, the CEO. And he's talking about Dr. Gavin Wood. And Dr. Wood there is, uh, he's more of an engineer, uh, more of a coder, more of a somebody who creates. I don't 
think he was happy in his role. So he probably just stepped down and go, Hey, I want to build the company another way. Kudos to him. He gets to do what he wants to do. So I'm good with that. Yeah. Sony confirms that Neil Gavin didn't leave poke out. He stepped down. Some people just aren't built through the CEO. I, you know, some people just want to want to do their thing within the company to make it work in other ways. No one or San Juan. Do you own a property outside the U.S. or Puerto Rico? No, we only own property in the United States. And the reason is for us, me and my wife have a, have a philosophy, which is we only want to own properties in the places that we live. So we have properties in El Paso. We have properties in Houston. We have properties uh, now, condos and, and house house and condos here in, in Puerto Rico. And it's just because it's easier to manage. And um, one of these days I will actually put together a, a YouTube channel for just real estate to show you all the things that uh, we've picked up along the way. One of those is management companies. Uh, try not to use them as much as possible because you will the, only, the person that will take care of your property the best is you. That's how it is. That's a, And that's all I'll say. All right. Oh, meme says it. Supreme Court interpreted the definition of securing the Howey case. I believe it was 1933. So long ago, it might have been before electricity. <laughs> Time's the update of definition. That's a good one. Uh, Mr. A1, what's the next DGen move? I don't know. I don't, like, I've got a second channel for Dan DGen, and we've covered some pretty good ones. Um, Gensakishi was one of my one of my favorites. Sweatcoin, obviously, one of my favorites. Um Fame, MMA, and Everdome. That was that was the big four that we did. That's really the only ones. And um, as far as the next DJ move, I have nothing because the the projects that, that come to me mostly are trash. And uh, I get probably five to ten uh, a week. And uh, once something good comes in, I'll let you know. But I haven't done a Dan DJ video in I want to say four months because they're just worthless. If if I don't want to invest, why would I tell you them to, why would I talk about it to you? Right. I only tell you the things that I do. So I can't, that's it. Uh, let's see. So Rob Agarwal says, can we say 10 Kel with the bottom? Could be. Might be eight. Might be three. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, XRPZ says proof of work not needed, consensus algo work, XRPL never been hacked, zero downtime. It's a good point. Some people will argue about the centralization versus decentralization, but that's not my that's not my uh, my wheelhouse. I don't really get into the the problems there. Comes <laughs> the shit. But it, you know, there is a thing. I think we should really be aware of it let's make sure that we keep things decentralized because I think some of us lost our way a little bit as we started to, to get a little bit slimy with uh, the centralized players, FTX being one of them. And again, I will raise my hand and said, you know, Voyager and Celsius were great when they worked. They just made mistakes along the way, you know, and they just became, they just became, you know, defunct. What is that term in, in Batman they talk about? You, you live, you die the hero or live long enough to become the villain. And that's pretty much what, it, what it happened here. You know, Celsius were great. I remember March, 2020 when coronavirus was, you know, wiping out everybody, making everybody crazy. Uh, they only had to liquidate three people in their loans because they had, uh, reasonable margin calls. They had a, a lot of uh, funds and reserves and they were uh, doing things that looked pretty on the up and up. And then as time went on, I think they just tried to compete too much with yield. Same thing happened with Voyager and Three, three Arrows Capital. So yeah, it's a real problem. So let's just make a pact, us. As we move forward, let's make sure we try to find the products that are the most decentralized that do the best things, that have the real world utility, and we stay away from the centralization, no matter how great the uh, economic gain could potentially be. Let's just do that. 
and uh, stick to the things that we should do. All right. <laughs> Reaper Man says, you should have heard what Ralph Paul said when, when one of his viewers suggested investment website should be free. Listen up, mother. Yeah, I didn't know that was what he mouthed off about. That's pretty funny. Look, everybody's different, right? Just because mine is free doesn't mean everything should be free, obviously, right? I mean, uh, Ben's website isn't free. It's fantastic. However, you know, Ben uh, in the cryptoverse, he doesn't monetize his videos. I do. And Ben doesn't do any affiliate links. I do. So, like, there's always a trade-off here, right? So I just thought it was a good idea just to make things free. And if you want to use the affiliate links, you could. And if you didn't want to use the affiliate links, you could just bypass it and go right to the website. Nah, you might you might miss out on some on some bonuses and things like that, but that's up to you. And I just felt like, you know, a lot of people or some people in the world can't afford. I think I was thinking about doing it for like 100 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month. Or other. I thought, well, some people can't do do that. So I'll just make it free. And that was it. Let's see. What else is still proof of work besides so Bitcoin? That's a, there's, there's a couple more. Is Ethereum Classic still proof of work? I believe so. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's it. I was joking. <laughs> it's, it's a good joke. Tomato coin to the moon. That's one I should probably cover. If you guys haven't heard of tomato coin, it's it's not proof of work or proof of stake. It's proof of sauce. And uh, I think uh, Olive Garden has implemented it in the payment system. It should be huge. Mm. So Doge might actually have value. Doge could have value. Doge could have value. If it wasn't for Elon Musk buying Twitter, couldn't. Another thing, Elon Musk just came out and said that uh, if, if the Twitter app is banned on Apple, he will create his own phone. So you wouldn't, you'd have Android, Apple, and a Tesla phone. Wouldn't that be interesting? And of course, that's why, if you're looking at Dogecoin, why there was a pump, that was the pump because of just that comment. I got to tell you, if you're a trader, I would take a heavy look at, the, at Dogecoin and just follow Elon Musk. Just whenever he mouths off and he says something positive, just watch it spike, sell, wait it to drop back down, buy again. Not financial advice. But it will be interesting to see who does that. Tom Crown does that. Uh... <laughs> Work is always interrupting me while I'm trying to watch, Rob. The nerve of the people. Those sons of guns. Okay. Rob, try Marcella. Just over the bridge from Godado into Old San Juan. Marcella. Marcella. All right. We'll go from there. JT's here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> if it was not expensive, they'd call it <laughs> Puerto Pobre. That's funny. Yeah, Tom, I got it. Tom sent me a, a thing about, because there's some echo. It's because we got to put some more, uh, some more furniture and then also something on the wall. No state tax in Florida. That's very true. Very, very true. Finally, it's about time. Dirty, we were just talking about EOS, and we were talking about how uh, the actual project, there was this big uh, affiliation. I want, it was either, I don't know if it was Apple or Amazon. I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah. So EOS and Apple Pay, I think that's what it was. No, 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 Amazon. Jeff Bezos came out and said that EOS was his next big... I'm just kidding. Sorry. Sorry, Beatty. Nothing's going on with EOS. Me and you are just going to hold it forever. <laughs> yeah, Ray's got a good point. Uh, Ray, blockchain is down about 90% the past year. Sure, everything's just swell. You, know, you got to remember, um, just because a stock is down doesn't mean that that the company is the worst of all time. Here's a prime example. I remember there was a great, great story about uh, Jeff Bezos. This was back in uh, 2001, 2002, somewhere around there, when his stock was just had capitulated and was going down. It was down 95%. And he looked at it and he said, hmm, well, let's see. Well, uh, attributions are up. Customer, customers are up. 
Uh, we've got uh, overhead is actually low. We purchased, uh, I think you said, like 30 or 50 more warehouses, and we're expanding across the globe. Things are looking pretty good. I don't know why the stock is down, but it'll rebound. If you would have listened to him at that point, it would have been pretty good. Not to say that Riot is, you know, all everything's in the up and up. I'm sure they got problems, and that's it. Yes, live within your means. Very, it's very simple. Like, I don't look forward to many things. The thing I look forward to these days is just eating food. I do uh, one meal a day, and it, it's crushing. So that's all I really look forward to these days. That and volleyball, which, shoot, I got it going. All right, everybody. Uh, coming up on an hour here. Did I miss anybody's important questions? Oh, Jay and Chow. What's your opinion on Tether? Uh, FTX wasn't regular because of a shitty auditor who can apply on Binance. Also, I know Bitfinex and Tether are in bed together. True. More collapse coming. I just won't touch Tether. As much as I complain about it, it's still solvent and it's still pegged to the dollar. So that's all I can say. I won't put any money into it. I won't. So that's just me. And I think. And that's it, everybody. <laughs> Can't wait to boring shot tomorrow on your face. All right, everybody. So that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. And uh, that is it for today. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll uh, probably put out some nice videos of the beach today. And that's it. So thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by, especially on a Saturday. Thank you. All right. See you on the next one. Adios.